What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope you're doing well. Continuing our wonderful journey of men behaving badly. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I am definitely want to see what adventures they get into in this week's episode. This crew is a special one. Uh, the adventures they get into is always exciting for me. Uh, and I'm just ready to see more. But ladies and gentlemen, really quickly, Snacks is not included. Damn it, you got to bring it home. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Absolutely free to do. Uh, shout out to the patrons as well. Links are always in the description section if you're curious for all that stuff. Let's get this journey started. Started. Snacks not included. Let's freaking go. at all, is it? <laughs> hey? Should we pop you under the duvet? Shall we pop you yes, under the duvet? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we'll soon have you right as rain. Oh, shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, bro. Now then, what I'm going to do now is gently lift you onto the bed. Now, you might experience a slight twinge. <sighs> <laughs> you lift some weights, bro. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> you gonna kill her. There we are. It, bro. Now, I'll just let you get some rest, and then I'll come back and entertain you. <laughs> I know it hurts when you laugh, so I'll be careful. <laughs> now, I had a word with the hospital, and as a bit of a treat, they've let us keep your appendix as a souvenir. Oh, my God. <laughs> I asked if they had anything else, and they gave me this spare spleen as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, souvenirs. in there. Clever, man. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you. Ha, 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 ha! 
guy's fucking bonkers. That's too much. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, that'll be your operation. <laughs> They've separated you from your Siamese twin. <laughs> you were joined at the bottom to Kevin Keegan. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Oh. Oh. Gary, mm -hmm. would you like me to line a bit of newspapers? I can really feel like a budgie. <laughs> <laughs> this is your activity centre. <laughs> <laughs> you see, at this stage in your recuperation, you're probably still feeling a little bit pathetic. So, there's a bell for my attention, grapes for nutrition, and a mirror to check you're not bleeding hideously. <laughs> what are you doing? I've seen this on casualty. <laughs> you have to pat the head. <laughs> yes, can I help? Can you not do that, please? OK, you're the boss. Gary, mm. I really appreciate you being so kind, but I'm tired and in pain, and I suppose what I'm really saying is I want you to bugger off. OK. How's Dorothy? Fine. I'll pop back in half now, check she hasn't gone purple. <laughs> Are you sitting close enough to that? I'm just taking in the atmosphere in the Tomorrow's World studio. <laughs> hey, do you reckon the presenters get off with each other after the show? Well, they always seem in a bit of a hurry to get off, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> what a new CD today. <laughs> Kylie's latest. Oh. I, I see she's uh, wearing glasses. Yeah. I think she looks really good in glasses, don't you? <laughs> Jesus, bro, right, Kylie. Right, let's face it, Kylie looked foxy in a welder's mask with a parsnip strapped to her head. <laughs> hey, that's good, isn't it? Something to stop your tie flapping over your shoulder when you're running along. Excellent. I bet that won't hit the shops till the year 2004. I'm still waiting to buy that rubber car that makes parking so easy. I think glasses make you look really sexy, though, don't they? <laughs> yeah, if you think it looks sexy to have two bits of perspex and an ugly tangle of metal hanging off your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Warren Beatty wears his quite a lot nowadays, doesn't he? Yeah, and you're not telling me he'd have done half as much knobbing if he'd had his bins on during his major <laughs> chatting up years, are you? Hello, Julie Christie. Excuse me while I pause to clean me bins on this little tiny yellow bit of cloth like a bloody librarian. <laughs> Get lost, four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You should have beat it, speckoid. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's oh, a little yellow flowers wrapped in paper. How nice. Yeah, for Dorothy. Oh, uh, oh, thanks. Did you bring any fruit? No. Oh, well, it's your decision. So, what's the news then? Well, to be honest, I don't really think I've realised just how tired I am. I suppose I'm just taking things one hour at a time. And Dorothy? Oh, well, she's a bit off colour. Mind you, she just has had a rather large organ taken out of her body. Not for the first time, either. <laughs> can I see her? I'd rather not. She's very frail. Oh. You can come and sit with me and Tony. We've got a couple of lagers on the go. The chat's racy, but never oversteps the mark. Maybe another time. Mm. So, how did the operation go? Oh, very, very well. The surgeons know Dorothy of old, but... I think they did a good job anyway. I remember when I had my appendix out, it hurt so much. I thought they'd left a little burrowing animal inside. Had they? <laughs> no. Oh, good, good. Nice, neat scar, is it? Yeah. Quite, quite low down, just above your beak. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> can I see it? No. OK. So can I do anything to help? You could show me a scar. <laughs> Help Dorothy. Oh, no, thanks. I'll shoulder the burden of caring for her. Well, maybe later when compassion fatigue sets in. Mm. Well, you know me, Debs, when I set my mind to something. You, uh, you haven't got any photos of your scar at all, have you? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Never gives up, bro. Uh... <laughs> this is Tony reading the news. 
<laughs> Hello, Fridge. My name is Michael Kane. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and here we have a cold front. <laughs> where these letters will be coming in from here and here, making the word schmemly. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be colliding with these fridge magnets here and here. Uh oh. Uh, Tony. What? Were you wearing glasses? Huh? <laughs> um, yes, you were. What? The, the, oh, no, they're not mine. No, I don't need glasses. <laughs> oh, look, look, that pin over there. <laughs> <laughs> there, look, 2020 vision. Tony, come here, here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, how are you feeling? Do you want me to mix you up a hot poultice or something? No, thanks. Tony, I get the impression that you're slightly embarrassed about glasses. No, no, I think they're great. You know, for, for seeing well, if you're into that. It's just that no one in my family wears glasses. We just go straight from brilliant eyesight to dead. <laughs> uh, you see the postcard on the mantelpiece? Read it for me. Hi, gang. Having a great time so you can all sod off Gary. It's from Gary. Tony, there isn't a postcard on the mantelpiece, so throw it away. <laughs> you won't tell anybody that I wear glasses, will you? Where are you planning to wear them? In the toilet? <laughs> Alone in darkened rooms? Please, Dotty. Don't I'm... call me Dotty. Dorothy. Oh, I'm the good looking outdoor type. I used to call the people who wore glasses Specky or Furniture Face or <laughs> Short Sighty. What? I used to stick bubblegum on the lenses so they couldn't see properly and bumped into things. <laughs> That's fucked up. Put them on, Tony. I don't want to. Tony. I'm ashamed. I'll tell Gary. <laughs> <laughs> see? Wow. -wee. I don't know what all the fuss is about. They look very nice. I think so. Mm, I doubt anyone would even notice. <laughs> It's like people who spend their whole life thinking they've got a big nose. <laughs> yeah, at least I haven't got a bloody great schnoz like them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just wear the glasses and stop worrying. I'm just a bit worried about the style, though. You, you don't think they make me look a bit too... Too much like a git? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a git. Formula One here. <laughs> It's been three days now. Do you fancy a quickie? <laughs> Nothing strenuous. You could lie on your good side, then I could just slip me old... Gary! Wow, wait. If you so much as touch me below the neck, I'll sue you for grievous bodily harm. <laughs> God. It's ironic, isn't it, the word patient? It's a bit like calling a mass murder an old soppy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just bored. I was really looking forward to looking after you, but you just seem so ill. <laughs> Go and play with Tony. I can't. He's shut himself in his room. I caught him wearing glasses this morning. What, sunglasses? No, real glasses. Real glasses? <laughs> Tony? But he's a normal bloke. He's never read a book in his life. <laughs> oh, don't make fun of him. He's obviously got a complex about it. Don't make fun of him? Are you mad? Of course I'm going to make fun of him. 
peeking out from behind his glinty little windows, always getting out those nasty, snappy cases. <laughs> I'm trying to be sympathetic. I thought you two were best mates. Yeah, well, I might have to reconsider now he's turned out to be a specky. <laughs> <laughs> well, man. Hello. Hello. I um, came in last week to buy some glasses for a... Uh, oh, Friend, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Himself, you see, because he's in prison. Prison, I remember. You realise the prescription is for your eyes, not his. Oh, he doesn't mind. No, he only wants a vague idea of what's going on. Did he like your choice of frame? There is a problem. He thinks they make him look like a git. <laughs> you haven't actually got a friend in prison, have you? Good. Shall we try on some other frames? It, it's all right, see, because I've, I've cut out some glasses from a magazine. Help and jump, what to do? I think we're still in git territory. Um, Emperor Hirohito, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Those are reading glasses. Oh, my God. Hmm? Oh, what they done, then? A uh, bit of a long shot, though. Uh, <clears throat> here. <clears throat> Sophia Lillard. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, you like these, yeah. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> For everyday use, possibly better on a blind person. Shit. Good point. What image are you looking for? Well, um, I want to look fashionable and intelligent and humorous and sophisticated <laughs> and uh, sexy. <laughs> Have you thought of reincarnation? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What about contact lenses? Oh, no, no, I couldn't have something against my eye, you know, right there. <laughs> Stare. I imagine it's no more uncomfortable than wearing a condom, say. How do you wear a condom on your eye? <laughs> no, on your penis. <laughs> Son tells me he tried. Oh my you god. Want to try and soften the shape of your face? So soften. By right. choosing round glasses. Oh, right, yeah, right, because actually I've got some. Uh, no, no. Uh, I've got a John Lennon here. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we get rid of that then? Has <laughs> he come in yet? No. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. Oh, Gary, don't draw attention to him. Relax, I won't. Anybody want a drink? No, thanks. Uh, yes, please, mate. Lager. I'll have it in one of those uh, silly glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tony, how are you? I'm oh, great, thanks. Oh, God. Chili. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so bloody immature! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, see him, see him. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, Poor Tony, man. Mate, sorry about that, just then. It's all right. No, it was unfair making a spectacle of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
just, just joking. Put, put them on. They look, they look quite good. No way. You'll just take the Ricky. No, I won't. You will. I won't. You will. I won't. Put them on. Yeah, they're nice. Nice bins. How, how do they stay on? Have they got they're a little hook on the back of the ear. Practical. Excellent. I bet you can play football in them and everything. Oh, yeah. As long as I don't do any sudden head movements. Yeah. So what are you, Maya Pippik or the other one? Yeah. Short-sighted. Yeah. yeah. But I'm brilliant on close objects. Yeah? The optician said I was the best she'd ever seen on close objects. Oh, well, that's good. And, um... Are you going to be getting um, little wipers fitted? Oh, just get out! Get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Oh shit! Want a cup of tea, Debs? Yeah. Where's Tony? I don't know. He must have joined Gary down the pub. You know, joking aside, I really like his glasses, actually. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. They're the sort of, the sort of missing part of the jigsaw of his personality. Yeah, they are. Do you know, I think Gary is jealous. Well, I know when I was at school, it was always the boys and glasses we went for first because they were always gentlemen. <gasps> Absolutely. I mean, even now, <laughs> whenever I see a man in specs, I always get a rush of almost. Well, sexual excitement. <laughs> Two. Oh, mama. Please don't go to work. I hate it here on my own. Well, I'm sorry, Dorothy, but the business and domestic markets for high quality security equipment don't stand still just because you claim you're feeling a little bit. Poorly. Where are my trousers? I don't know. <sighs> well, why don't you ask one of your friends over? They all work during the day. They won't come over in the evening in case you do your usual thing of smarming up to them, calling them toots and offering them phallic-shaped nibbles. <laughs> Where are my trousers, Dorothy? I don't know. Oh, please, Gary, Gary, please. I'll be well enough to get up in a couple of days. Yep. Well enough to get up now. You could hop in a taxi and lead an expedition across the North Pole. I'm dizzy. I'm still swollen and bleeding. I've got a temperature of over a hundred. Well, you'll be nice and warm then, won't you? <laughs> Cyril Fox. Oh, my God. How did that happen? Give me the trousers, Dorothy. No. No, look, we'll have a nice day together. We can tell each other all the things we've... Go and die somewhere else. You are driving me mad, you silly, malingering tart. <laughs> I'm afloat. I need my freedom. <laughs> wow, we. Hi. Hi. Thanks, but I've changed my mind. Uh, I want my money back. I've decided I like it blurry. Well, I can't do any funds. <laughs> Spent all my money. All my friends laugh at me. I've lost all the admiration and respect I've built up. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you should overcome your doubts about contact lenses. So, it's as comfortable as wearing a condom, yeah? Yes. Except you put them in your eye. Yes. All right. Good. Do you have a preference between hard, gas permeable, tinted, soft daily wear, or disposable lenses? Oh, well, you better just uh, give me the cheapest. <laughs> no, sod it. Make it two. <laughs> Hello, love. Sorry about this morning. <laughs> nice. Nice outfit. I don't know what came over me, as the actress said to the Dorothy. <laughs> I've got you some flowers that match your appendix. Where are you? Oh, shit. Imagine seeing this outside. <laughs> she going 
get him killed. <laughs> Shit. Took her ass out. Where she be? Yeah, the hospital, her parents' place, all her friends, her disgusting ex so called boyfriends, all her favourite clothes shops. Well, what did they say? They said, no, we don't appear to have a slightly deranged woman wearing pyjamas tottering derangedly through mixed separates, you stupid bastard. <laughs> made her run away. I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I may inadvertently have called her a malingering tart, but... <laughs> Gary, how could you? That's the way we talk to each other. I didn't realise she'd come over all bonkers. Let's just stay calm, try and work out some sort of psychological profile so we can find out what she's thinking. So she's wearing ill-fitting pyjamas, right? She nearly died of a burst appendix a week earlier. Her boyfriend's just called her a malingering tart. tart. So she feels let down by the one person she should be able to trust. So what's her state of mind? A little unhappy? Let's come back to that. What sort of a person is Dorothy? She's a brown-haired person. She's a scary person. She's a person with a history of volatile behaviour. But the note she left, look... Feeling a bit odd, have gone for a walk. I mean, that sounds like someone who's actually quite sane. I don't think I need to blame myself needlessly. Well, she spelt odd with five Ds. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's it. She's probably wandered onto a major road. I killed her! <laughs> Gary, you're hysterical. Pour yourself a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! She's good. Oh, well, that's very clever, both of you. You've made your point. I'll take it my nursing services aren't required anymore. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> hey, back's a bitch. So, like, if a bloke's pain threshold, right, is up here... Right. Where? Here. Oh, I can't see it hurts when I open my eyes. <laughs> here. Right. Yeah, then your average girls... is down there. Oh, it's quite low. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. High, low. Yeah. That is the difference. Mm. I mean, look at the fuss women make about childbirth. Uh. <laughs> now, I'm not saying it doesn't smart a bit. <laughs> but if blokes did it, I reckon you'd be looking at, well, give birth, have a couple of paracetamol, maybe a bit of a nap, and then back to work within the hour. Yeah. <laughs> You're right there, mate. Yeah, yeah. So it's not a good idea to wash your contact lenses in fuzzy peat shower gel, then put them back in your eyes, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you, uh... Do you want a ham with your lager? No, no, I'm all right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like with your lenses in? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's really clear. I was walking down the street and I could see all the little leaves on the trees. Yeah. I could see little ants crawling along the branch. It was brilliant. Ants? Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Hurts to buggery, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to try opening your eyes again? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Oh, you got my nipple! Sorry, mate. Sorry. Whoa, bro! <laughs> wow. You'd never know they were in. That's the beauty of contact lenses. Yeah. Are they comfortable? Oh, yeah, except when I blink. Yeah. Uh, so, would you look after Dorothy again, yeah? Well, this might sound harsh, but... I think women lose a lot of their femininity when they're ill. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Makes them less attractive. Still bless them, eh? Oh, bless them, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Do you want a pickled chilli with that? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no! What a dick! Oh, what an asshole! What a dick! <laughs> what a dick. All right, one second. We got to talk about it. Thank you if you made it this far. Thank you so much for hanging out. Give me one sec. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I think we can all agree that Tony was making a spectacle of himself on this episode. Dope episode. Uh, yeah, just pass me that with the little silly glasses, please. Yeah, pour it in the little silly glass, please. Uh, window wipers. Listen, man, Tony was out of this world. Gary was exceptional on this episode, man. This guy is just ph uh, phenomenal. I know I say this a lot, but I... I I, sp I speak highly of him because he's just so fucking awesome, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, man, his savagery uh, goes no, you know, there's no limit to it. I love how he was messing with Tony on this episode. Even everybody had a mess with him on this episode. Shit, I, at some point, too, I even think the, the, uh, um, the, uh, eyeglass lady was messing with him at some point too i thought she was flirting with him a little bit but i could be wrong and shit man that condom bit was a little bit funny uh tony phenomenal job man i thought my man's had some lube uh obviously he couldn't it was it's not a nudie magazine but man he was definitely acting very odd on this episode and, and it was great to see um when I was probably in fourth or fifth grade I had to get glasses as well and I was embarrassed, uh, you know, shy, um, self-conscious on that stuff. And it took me a while to get over, you know, using glasses and stuff like that. Uh, I may not have taken it to as extreme lengths uh, as, as, as Tony did, but, you know, I, I needed to use them at the, at the end of the day, man. And we have tried contacts before, but uh, for a short period of time, and then it just wasn't for me. So I think this overall episode was really fun to see. Um, Again, Gary is such a badass. What an asshole in many instances, and I'm all for it, man. This is comedy gold here, and, um, you know, him poking at Dorothy. Wow, man, it, this guy is crazy. Calling her a tart was funny as hell, too. It, it is it definitely describes their relationship. Uh, you know, they do go back and forth like that, but, man, she's in pain. He's trying to wake her up because my man is feeling a little frisky and shit. He just, oh, Jesus, bro. She had a crazy-ass operation. I've never had my appendix uh, removed or anything like that, so I can only get a taste of, uh, you know, via her example of the pain uh, that is, you know, accompanies uh, such an operation and shit like that. My man was having a science lab in the background and shit. I got this. I got this. Oh, my God. And Tony... Now knowing what it tastes like, Gary, crazy, licking it, touching it, giving Dorothy a friend, essentially putting it on her a little bit, man. He be doing some gross ass shit. Uh, you know, Gary be doing some gross ass shit. And man, he is just so funny, man. I loved how he, you just felt that he was going to pick on Tony. He was going to bust his chops and shit like that. And man... When he had that, listen, I call myself a nerd too. So when I called him a nerd as well, man, that's just, that's just the way I felt as well. Putting on glasses for the first time and shit like that. Uh, you know, and especially if you have those where it kind of makes your eyes look a little bit bigger and shit. Um, I guess depending on the strength of the uh, prescription, you know, I, I know back in the day, at least some people that I knew had the, the, the bigger glass. So it makes your eyes look bigger. So you stand out. You stand out whether you want to or not. I think you've seen it in movies. I, I don't know if it was Revenge of the Nerds and shit when people have glasses and shit. One of my favorite movies uh, off time, uh, you know, with the glasses. But yeah, it, it's a funny it's a funny sight to behold. There's there's no way of putting out that. Um, Gary injuring uh, freaking Dorothy in the beginning. You could see she's pissed off. Fucked up her, you know, shoulder, her leg. Throwing her on the bed was a, a spectacle, you know, on its own. Was so funny to see rolling her, uh, you know, rolling her like, I don't know, like uh, something else. I won't say it. But, yeah, rolling her up a bit um, was just comedy gold. And shit, man. He just wanted some. After a while, he got a little bit sick of Dorothy. And he just wanted some space. After a while. You, you want to kick back and relax and shit. If you're taking care of someone, although he's doing a good job, I think, with, ladies, would you say that what he did taking care, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, let, fill me in. What you, what you ladies think about how he took care? I thought he did a, a, a pretty decent job. He showed his concerning side, although, you know, an interesting way. Uh, I think we just got another banger of an episode. Just I felt really good uh, watching it. Carrie again, just... 
phenomenal in a lot of the things he do. Even when he was interacting with Deborah, um, and he started finding out, oh, that she had her appendix, and he's like, you know, he, he's he's looking down a little bit. He's trying to see, he's like, yeah, can I see it? Uh, so, uh, yeah, you got any pictures, man? He, yeah, I just I just love his character, best character by far uh, on this show. And um, for me personally, I'm. It isn't even close, man. He is just such a great uh, actor, uh, and he's just slaying this Gary performance here. So, in love with the show. I freaking love the show. It brings me a lot of joy. You know, Tony uh, doing his thing on, on this one with the glasses, hiding it, looking under the covers, you know, all these things uh, just made the episode worthwhile. Uh, the jokes are there. Uh, everybody picking on Tony again with the ladies, trying to gas him up a little bit. I think I really like, um, you know, I think he, you know, I think I like a person. I find them, I get more sexually attracted to, you know, they're, they're, just, they're just, you know, playing with my man. He's in, 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 in a, uh, you know, a sad state, you know, he's self-conscious state right now. I'm sure people, everyone has gotten a point in time where you feel a little self-conscious and stuff like that. I suffered with acne, still do at some, sometimes. Uh, and, you know, I've had my moments. I'm like, oh, shit, man, I got to go out. With, oh, man, this is, this is not good. I feel like everyone's going to be staring at me. So totally relatable episode. Phenomenal job overall. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure to be watching uh, this show. Um, you know, obviously I fall in love with a lot of the characters. The characters are great. The story brings me in, you know, reels me in every week. Uh, the jokes are there, the adventures are there and just overall, I, you know, I'm just, just enjoying my journey, man. So thanks for kicking it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for, you know, accompanying me on my journey as we explore more comedy, more shows eventually in the future. Um, uh, but you know, right now we focus on this one and whatever we're doing on the channel right now. Um, so thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That is absolutely Free to do turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat um if you want to tell me one thing you were embarrassed about or felt self-conscious about uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have the guts to share it all right I i'm calling you guys out if you got the guts to share something you felt kind of embarrassed like like tony uh let me know in the comments down below okay ladies and gentlemen i let you guys i told you guys one with my acne situation uh yeah that that you know, going outside, that's, it's a tough, it's a tough adventure there, but, uh, that's one for me. Let's see if we can get some in the comments down below. And, um, if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. If you're considering it, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. And, uh, shout out to the patrons as well. Thank you for your extra support. Helps out the channel tremendously. If you're curious for all that, it's always in the description section. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Enjoy, uh, the rest of your week.